Here's how to replace the EGR valve on a Chevrolet 350 cubic inch engine or 5.7 liters if you're into the metric system. So the EGR valve is right here. The thing looks like a flying saucer. And it's held on by two bolts down at the base of it. One on my side and then one on the other side. And they are half inch bolts. So I'm able to, I had to remove this plug. Obviously I removed the air cleaner as well. And then you can get a wrench down in here and just kind of inch, 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 inch. And then back here, same thing. There's a lot of plumbing, but you can actually get a, a wrench in there around it. Sometimes you can use the round end, sometimes you can use the, uh, the open end. But there is definitely enough clearance to get in there and, and undo it and just pop it loose. And other than those two bolts, the only other thing you've got is the flying saucer thing has a, a hose connected to it. So you just need to pop that hose loose and connect it to the new one and then wrestle this one off your engine and put the new one in. The new one versus the old one side by side so we can take a look at them. Now this one was about 50 bucks so if you're on a super tight budget I have taken these off and cleaned them and put them back on and, and had that work so you could spray it out with some kind of you know carburetor cleaner or something to clean off the uh, the mechanism. I think I used WD-40 when I did it before because I was scared carb cleaner would ruin something inside so do a little more research if you're going to clean it out but that is possible. You could also reuse this gasket if you're like if you're super poor uh, or cheap and you don't want to buy a new one or a new gasket. I've taken them off and cleaned them when I had no money and put them back on and the car ran a lot smoother in past emissions. But now that I'm rich ha, 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 from YouTube, I can afford a new one for 50 bucks. So the only other trick with this is take a look at where the uh, pipe is coming off of the old one and you can actually twist it. You can twist this around so it, it twists and just make sure you've twisted it so that it uh, comfortably meets the hose pipe coming out of the engine where the old one was. All right, you'll want to clean out the hole there and uh, get any extra gasket material off of there so that it's smooth when you put the new one on. All right, so we've got it in there using only the flat wrench. So the only caution I would have with the wrench, especially taking it off, is just make sure you don't accidentally bang into something and break it. All these hoses and wires and such. The only thing I had to unplug was this, uh, I don't even know what it is, electrical deal that plugs into the side of the, of the throttle body injector system. So we just plug that baby back in. And then plug, of course, the uh, little vacuum line back onto the flying saucer. All the way up, make it tight. Make sure you didn't loosen it on this end. Throw the air cleaner back on and you are ready to row.